Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon Casino. Uh, I thought we'd do another price check today, just to see how the market is. The reprint of SXA EV Heroes is coming out soon. I've heard that it's, the boxes should be out actually this week. I think some people might get it earlier in the week, if not the end of this week. So I thought it'd be good to go over and see somehow the prices are going for this set. Uh, this was set was released last year. And when it was released, there's there some hype around it, right? Everyone loves the Evolutions. But afterwards, after a few months, it's really started to climb and get some crazy prices going on. Uh, a lot crazier than even the uh, Evolving Skies prices. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the card quality. Maybe it's just the, the rarity in the Japanese sets of Poldies. But there's, some of the prices are absolutely bonkers, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, so before we go through this price list, uh, if you're liking this content, if you help me click that like button, subscribe. I'll be doing these more often as well as seeing some price trends as well uh, over time to see how the prices have evolved. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Let's see how the market is, right? Uh, I think over the past few months, market has softened a bit in terms of some prices for products on English set, but it seems to be defying gravity here in terms of EV Heroes Japan. Um, I have this sort of the top or the most expensive cards listed right now. This is from Card Rush from Japan. This is what we're basically selling these cards at uh, if you want to buy them. Uh, translated or, or the foreign exchange as of today. Uh, so Umbreon VMAX, the Moonbreon, $800 basically for this card. Absolutely incredible art. Um, this is about 300, 350 English version. But wow, this card is so expensive right now. If you have it, good for you. I wish I had this one, but for $800, I think I can get a lot of other products and a lot of satisfaction elsewhere, to be honest, right now. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, second up, uh, and, and pretty far off from how the Moonbrion is, right? You got the Sylveon VMAX. Uh, HRSA, it's going for $479. Uh, it's great card. It has all these other Pokemon in it as well, which I think everyone enjoys. So I can see why everyone's sort of enjoying uh, the Sylveon VMAX, the second most expensive card right now. Um, and if we move on, uh, and I think you would have guessed this, right? We have the Glaceon VMAX coming in at number three. Uh, this one is absolutely super cute with Glaceon on basically a man-made or, or a man-made lake or a rink, ice rink in the spring or fall, it seems. And there's other Pokemon skating with them. This one's $354. Uh, I have this one in English and absolutely love it. Great artwork. Uh, next one, we got Leafeon VMAX also pulling some heavy weight over here. Raw card selling for two hundred eighty dollars, basically Leafeon, in uh, like growing some wheat, I guess it seems. Um, so this one also really cool, Leafeon, uh, Vmax uh, in its element. Next up, we have some of the V cards now. So we're sort of gone through some of the V Maxes in the set, and we're on to Umbreon uh, V. And no guess, Umbreon is a fan favorite. Uh, the V version of this card is going for $117 right now. Basically, Umbreon underneath the moonlight looking over some other. We got a pincer there. We got some others that I can't really then find in the picture. But always when there's other Pokemon in there, I love it. Love the artwork. You have Glaceon V as well coming up next. Uh, Glaceon also seems to be a big fan favorite after Umbreon. Uh, and it's just basically Glaceon relaxing in winter on a on a park bench. So super cute uh, artwork. Like I said, Evolutions. Everyone loves it. There's so much demand for these cards. And it's commanding $102, right? Um, the next one's up. Haven't broke the $100 mark yet. Maybe they will in the future. But we got Flareon. Uh, just nice and cozy in winter, it seems. Uh, coming up at $95 for the Japanese version of Flareon V. And then we had the Sylveon V. Uh, obviously, a big difference from the V Max card. Uh, I'm guessing it's because of the rarity of pulling the V Maxes as compared to Vs, but also very cute in a bake shop. Uh, just holding up some cupcakes. And it's trading at the same price as Flareon right now at $95. So it's nice to see these uh, cards trading at these prices. It's uh, pretty crazy. I know that. We had some extra booster boxes available in Hong Kong for the reprint that's going to be released this week, as I said. And they're uh, selling for upwards of 100 US dollars each. 
So basically, if you wanted to quote unquote break even on value, you'd probably have to at least pull one of these cards, uh, some of the alt arts uh, in order to do so. Because if you're pulling up one of the next ones that we're looking at right now, Leafeon V, $87. So you, you got a bit of a gap over there in terms of the alt art, in terms of the price of the booster box on the reprint. And I don't think these booster boxes are going to absolutely uh, lower the prices at all in the future. Uh, I don't know how big the reprint will be, but there's so much demand for these products that I think that it's going to be trading at a pretty hefty premium to MSRP. Myself, if I wanted these cards, I'm going to probably just save up and buy some of the singles rather than then test my luck because some of the prices go down pretty fast. You have a Porion V, which is a great looking card as well. Uh, going at $80. I'm sure this card is much cheaper in English. So if you don't want the Japanese one, English is always an option. I think you can go for uh, next one up Jolteon $80. Same price as uh, Espion V as well. So these are both at $80. Uh, less than $20 from where you buy a retail box for the reprint at, uh, which is why I'm saying if you guys sort of want to collect this set, I think it's best to go for some singles right now. Uh, if, especially if it's the alt arts that you want, because uh, your chance at pulling the one that you want in terms of a box, it's uh, RNG isn't there for you. So that would be my recommendation. But obviously, hey, if you like pulling product and you like going for it, you like uh, getting that rush, go for it, right? When you pull it yourself, it always uh, feels different, right? You always have a rush of euphoria. So, hey, all the power to you. And then afterwards, these sets, you know, uh, it's not as quote unquote interesting. Uh, no more alt arts in terms of uh, what's in the set. But the next one I thought would, was quite interesting as well. Still trading at quite a, a healthy price of $44 for the Darkness Energy. Uh, I'm guessing cause, because of the playability of this card, people can use gold energy and be a real baller uh, in their deck. Uh, so that's why I guess this is commanding this price. But of course, if you buy a box right now at over $100 US and you crack open and you get a Darkness Energy, I don't think you're going to be too happy about that one. Uh, so to save yourself from some disappointment, buy singles. Uh, and then we have one of the waifu cards here. Uh, it is not $80. That's a typo I, I have on here. Uh, it's about uh, $20 something dollars, I believe, for Aroma Lady. Uh, and so this basically rounds up what's available in this set. But as we all know, there's still a few amazing cards that were not part of the EV Hero set released as uh, promo cards uh, up on a screen right now. You have the three starter evolutions from uh, EV. You have Vaporeon, which is at an incredible price of over $2,000 right now. Uh, this one and the th uh, two other starter evolutions were only available. One. If you got it in a lottery, I believe, uh, through playing the game in Japan a few years ago. And then two is a special promo box, which is basically selling for, I think, over six or seven thousand US dollars for that set. You get the three cards. So this is why this, these uh, single prices are commanding such a massive price right now. Jolteon VMAX, not too far off from Vaporeon VMAX, $1,983 for a single raw card. So these ones are absolutely Packing a punch, whoever has these. Wow. I remember I saw these ones for sale when it was about, I think it was uh, around 4,000 US for the set. And I thought that was ridiculous. It'd come back down. It hasn't. <laughs> so stupid me, it could have doubled that up or just saved me a lot of money if I wanted to get the set in the future. Um, English ones are much cheaper. So get that if you just want the artwork. And then we obviously have the, the two remaining promo cards of the Evolution VMAXs. You have Flareon that was in that set that I just talked about, $1,909. And then one other one, Espeon VMAX, super amazing card, was available in the EV Heroes promo box uh, at a much more reasonable price, I would say, uh, $147. Sort of uh, same price as some of the other VMAX uh, alt arts that we saw, other than uh, Umbreon, of course which was uh, the most expensive one from the set. And, and that's about rounds up um, EV Heroes and our price check for today. Um, there's some other amazing artwork in this uh, set. We have a bunch of the full arts, which I think are gorgeous, uh, much more affordable in order to collect these ones. So maybe that's what I'll be sort of trying to get from the singles prices. I think these ones are sort of less than $20 each at this time. And then you got some of the rainbows as well in the bottom. So... This rounds up our price check of EV Heroes in August 2022. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this content. And if you did, remember to click like again and subscribe for more.
Thanks very much. And until the next video, hope you guys have amazing RNG. Bye-bye.